cult of Hasanabi. <sighs> Nichols. Following the death of Tyree Nichols this month, an investigation found the officers violated department policies, including the use of excessive force and failing to give aid after a traffic stop for reckless driving. Nichols said he had trouble breathing. The 29 year old was hospitalized and died three days later. His family says he was brutally beaten. We are going to be so. Um, you know, you know, shit is insanely fucked. If a police department fires all five of the fucking cops who were involved in the arrest of one person who died three days after a traffic stop. The five officers were dismissed following an internal investigation which determined that they violated multiple department policies including excessive force, duty to intervene, and duty to render aid. The five officers were identified by the department as Tadarius Bean, Demetrius Haley, Emmett Martin III, Desmond Mills Jr., and Justin Smith. On January 7th, the 29-year-old Nichols, who is black, was arrested after officers stopped him for reckless driving. There was a confrontation as officers approached the driver, and he ran before he was confronted again by the pursuing officers who arrested him, authorities said. He complained of shortness of breath and was hospitalized. Officials said a cause of death has not yet been determined. Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, the state's police agency, said Nichols died January 10th. The agency is conducting a use of force investigation at the request of Shelby County District Attorney General Steve Mulroy. Hold on one second. I'll do something here. Um, the five officers who were fired are all black, according to the Memphis Police Public Information Officer. Federal authorities announced Wednesday that they were launching a civil rights investigation into the actions of Memphis police. Wait, is there one here? Oh, no, there isn't. Okay, never mind. I was looking to see if there was additional video. Um, the body camera footage of my, uh, it has not uh, been released yet. I believe that only the family members saw it. Relatives have said that the officers who pulled over Nichols were in an unmarked vehicle and that he experienced cardiac arrest and kidney failure because of the beating. Uh, by the officers, Davis and Mayor Jim Strickland said Tuesday, the video footage of the arrest will be released after the police department's investigation is complete and the family can review it. After initially declining, uh, the video's not out yet. Sorry, I didn't. I, I guess the family didn't even see it uh, yet. But it's wild that they fucking fired the cops. Okay. It's wild that they fire the cops before they even release the footage. At a memorial service for Nichols on Tuesday, family and friends... Wait, oh, they did see it. Okay, I thought, I thought they didn't. Quotes from the Tyree Nichols family and lawyers after seeing the body cam footage of this murder, I have no words. It was like a human pinata for the police. Tyree Nichols cried out for his mother three times, Mom, 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 as officers beat him less than 100 yards from his home, according to lawyers for his family who watched the police video of his parents... First time on Monday. What I saw on the video today was horrific. Nichols' stepfather, Rodney Wells, said at a news conference, no father or mother should see what we had to see today. Justice for us is murder one. Anything short of that, we will not accept. Attorney Benjamin Crump, who was representing the families of the footage, it is appalling, it is deplorable, it is heinous, it is violent. So before people jump and say, oh, well, it's because the cops are black, that's why they fired him with ease. Yes, obviously there are uh, racial uh, disparities even inside of the police force but don't forget that they're cops okay this is why oh more black cops will solve this problem is not actually a real solution it's just a liberal band-aid okay it's not real it's not even a solution at all black cops are just as violent towards black people as white cops are okay they're still cops Relative said Nichols was from California and moved to Memphis about a year ago. He had two brothers and a sister. Nichols' stepfather, Ronnie Wells, said that during the service that Nichols' supporters want the officers involved to be arrested with the charge of first-degree murder. We are not going down without a fight, they said. Um, Memphis police executed someone recently, and this one is bad, really bad, like local police. Uh, local businesses are buying unrest insurance. Politicians are distancing themselves from the police, and DOG is investigating. 
People who have seen the video tell me it's sickening, like unambiguously heinous with no possible excuse. Heard on the radio the police are preparing for a public response rivaling that of George Floyd. Person is right. If they're if you're bookmarking and waiting for me to share the video, you're wasting your time. I'm not going to post it. Yeah. Memphis Police Department ticks nearly every box on the wish list of liberal, liberal police reformers. Memphis has a civilian disciplinary board. And MPD looks like the community of police is 56% black versus 50, 65% of the Memphis population. They still beat a man to death over nothing. Eventually, we're going to have to get past DEI and so-called accountability to really grapple with the fundamental nature of policing as an institution that violently defends the interests of having uh, of haves against the have-nots. Which, by the way, I agree with, but uh, police as a as an institution is just uh, is is too far gone in the way that it operates in capitalist society. Um, the reason why they probably fire the cops is not because they're black, but because they have more of like the uh, liberal uh, attitude. But it doesn't matter because they still beat the shit out of someone and killed them. You know what I mean? With their bare fucking hands and batons and shit. So and tasers. Do you think the public outcry will be reduced because of the black on black violence? What? Fuck. I don't even understand what you're saying. <sighs> anyway, um, yeah, ice is mostly made up. 52% of ICE and Customs and Border Patrol is Hispanic. That does not change the violent institution and the violent reasons for why that institution exists. And also, here is where here is an instance where cops came after a white guy. I can't show you this video, but police in North Carolina shot a disabled man who was unarmed and complying with their orders. Here, I'll show you the uh, beginning of the video. I won't show you the actual shooting. I watched this last night. The Libertarian Party uh, posted about it. Cops are outside of his house. They're saying step outside on the PA system. What is going on? I don't know. That thing that he picks up from the ground is a camera. Okay. Uh, from what I understand, he he sees something on the ground that is odd. It is one of those like recon drones. Okay. He survived it. They didn't kill him. He's still alive. Um, they're responding to a shots fired call. Witnesses said it's his house. Doesn't matter. They send in a fucking camera. They send in a drone. He picks up the fucking drone. Which, by the way, like, that's your drone, dog. Like, what do you mean? The entire purpose of your fucking drone is to surveil. And it's to feed information back to you. He's already, he's disabled, by the way, from what I understand. He picks up the drone. He's like, what the fuck is this shit? Turns on the light in his house. He has a laser on him, by the way. Do you see that? Look. What the fuck? He has a laser trained on him the entire time. So does his wife. I think. Right? Or is that a cigarette? Never mind. It's not a laser. I was wrong. Anyway, I can't show you the rest of this. He walks outside. Oh, it is a cigarette. Never mind. It's not a laser. My bad. It's a cigarette. It's a cigarette. It's a cigarette. They do usually... Uh, <laughs> they do have lasers, though. Um... I was wrong about that. Fake news is on. I don't want to hear from motherfuckers who have never experienced uh, uh, police breaking down your fucking door or anything like that. 
uh, making fun of someone, assuming that uh, you know I, I uh, you know I, I misread that part of the fucking situation. Holy shit! Okay. This is not a uh, this is not an uncommon sight. There are also, you know, th this is something that happens. I immediately corrected myself and said it was a cigarette, and motherfuckers are still going off on it. Especially motherfuckers who live in their nice Connecticut McMansions who have never had to experience something like this. Suck my fucking cock, okay? Yes, they often have a sniper in a situation like this, okay? I don't want to talk more about it. Other than the fact that, you know, it is something that happens regularly. Bunch of bitches, dude. Anyway. I can't show you the rest of this video because as soon as he opens the door here, I'll show you the final moment here. He has the drone in his hand. He opens the door, his hands are in the air, he's complying, and they immediately shoot him. Yeah, they, they shoot him, they shoot at him multiple times. He, he literally saves his wife, basically, by body blocking her. They're shooting through the windows. I'm shot! What the hell? They're still screaming, come out with your fucking hands up. He's like, I can't come out with my hands up because you fucking shot me. Okay? This is some random guy. Then they drag him out. I don't have a gun. I don't have a gun. I he doesn't have a gun. gun. I didn't have a gun. Got clear. I didn't have a gun. I didn't have one. I got him. Cops come in here. I'll just show you. I mean, you can't see blood in this scene. Cops literally fucking storm at, at, at this point. He's fine. He did not die. He, but they are. He is bleeding, and they're literally walking over him. They step over him and and enter the fucking trailer. Where are you here then? Okay, let's take my chest. Okay, the ammo's just on its way. I have no gun, man. Hey, oh, hey, Master, hold on, 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 hold Fuck. Hey, bro, fuck. Hey, camera, camera. Like, as soon as he go, first officer goes in, he goes, fuck, fuck. And the second officer immediately goes, hey, hey, cameras, cameras. Realizing that there's a camera in the fucking trailer, don't say anything dumb, you fucking idiot. Don't acknowledge guilt. Don't acknowledge, like, even in a human moment. Because that can be used as admission. It doesn't matter if it was a body camera that he's referencing. It doesn't matter if he was uh, referencing the camera in the room. The entire point of it is like, hey, remember, you're recording. You're being recorded. Okay? Did the guy live? Yes. They stopped giving quality call outs and went full team mute. Yeah, mute, yeah. And then he was still charged with communicating threats and resist, obstruction, and delay. Which is also yet another fucking wild instance where for some reason, like if cops shoot you, you're still at you're still liable. You're 
the responsible party because like you know how else would this have ever happened obviously you made you forced the hands of the fucking officers you know what i mean like this could have never fucking happened any other any other way no way siri huh yeah the press release from the cherokee county sheriff's office is full of shit there was no verbal altercation or confrontation we watched the video and yet even though this shit was recorded on video because of his own video, the dude had it in his own house, luckily, okay? And it should not take this. For immediate release, Monday, December, approximately 11 p.m., disturbance of several gunshots. Cherokee County deputies were immediately dispatched and arrived at the scene approximately 11.17. Deputies attempted to make contact with the alleged shooter was unsuccessful. Recognizing there was an armed suspect present and a potential for a hostage situation, Cherokee County Sheriff's Office obtained a search warrant and requested assistance from the Cherokee Indian Police Department SWAT team. The suspected shooter engaged in a verbal altercation with officers and emerged from a camper trailer confronted and confronted officers. He didn't do any of that shit. Members of the Cherokee Indian Police SWAT team fired upon the suspect and wounded him. The suspect was transported to Erlanger in Chattanooga, Tennessee, where he was last reported in stable condition. North Carolina State Bureau of Investigators was called to investigate the matter. After consultation with the DA office, he was uh, uh, Jason Harley Clofer, age 41, of uh, his address, has been charged with communicating threats and resist, obstruct, and delay. How wild is that? You watch the video. You watch the fucking video. Yeah, the only thing he obstructed was a fucking bullet that was, you know, all, also about to hit his wife. He obstructed the bullet with his body. So, you know, that's how it works. Uh, wonderful stuff here. Uh, really cool. Just uh, regular old uh, America, baby. Uh, this was their follow-up after the video was released. Wait, what is this? Yeah, we already... Wait, what? Since the Cherokee County Sheriff's Office does not have a tactical team to handle a hostage event, I've requested assistance from the Cherokee Indian Police Department SWAT team. Subsequently, members of CIPD SWAT fired shots at an individual who emerged from home, uh, injuring him. I'm willing to bet that it's not just the SWAT team that fired at him. I'm willing to bet that it was that police department that fired at him too, and they're just like laying the blame entirely on... Uh, on the on the Cherokee Indian Police Department SWAT team, but let's see. Uh, following the, yeah, he resisted their attempts to kill him and his wife. Exactly. Um, following the shooting, my office issued a press release about the event. The release was prepared by my by the county attorney based on the information. Neither myself nor Chief Deputy Justin Jacobs were on the scene at the time of the shooting. Uh, so we relied on information provided to us from the Cherokee Indian Police Department. Yeah, it's them. It's the Cherokee Indian Police Department that, that fucked this up. Uh, my goal, I mean, they did, by the way. They definitely did. Don't misunderstand me. They, too, are responsible. Absolutely. It's just funny that they're, like, so quick to fucking place the blame on its entirety uh, as though this isn't, like, regular police uh, uh, activity. My goal with issuing that press release was not to comment on the subsequent criminal investigation, which remains ongoing, but to re rather update the public on a dangerous situation. Yeah, right, dude. Shut the fuck up. If that video had not come out, holy fuck, you know that shit would have been held up for a long ass time. If that dude didn't have his own video footage from his own goddamn house, okay, you bet your fucking ass that... They would have held that body camera footage. They would have held the body camera footage for so long. Nobody would have ever even heard of it. This is some fucking random white guy living in the goddamn trailer. Okay? And, and you know, you know they would not correct the record. They never do. Oh, yeah, sorry. We didn't realize it wasn't actually obstruction of justice and obstruction of police bullets uh, that were intended for him and his wife. You know what I mean? He body blocked it. How dare he? Now, to add insult to injury in this circumstance, by the way, uh, wonderful experience overall. Uh, to make matters mer to make matters worse, done in there. 
First time I ever saw video footage from the shooting was on January 18, 2023. It's my understanding that the state and district attorneys has been notified of the video as well. <laughs> when I campaigned for the office of sheriff, I had several conversations with fellow law enforcement, the gall, uh, and officials in the public about the need for Cherokee County to have its own tactical team. It is imperative for us to be self-reliant when it comes to fighting crime, especially during a situation in which time is of the essence. Bro, we need to be killing these motherfuckers on our own. You know what I mean? We can't be relying on the, on the Cherokee Indian Police Department SWAT team. Why can't we take matters into our own hands? It looks so much fun to be killing dogs. It looks so much fun to be shooting people. Why can't we do it on our own? He's saying, yeah, they kill steal. The Cherokee Indian SWAT team kill steal are confirmed kill. We would have handled it better. Please give us more money. I will be asking county commissioners for the funds to create such a unit when budget negotiations for the next fiscal year begin. And you know what's the, the fucking best part about this backtrack where he's like not even fucking backtracking but asking for more funds? He's going to get it. I'm just going to, I'm telling you right now, this motherfucker is probably going to get a SWAT department now. He's saying, you know, the Native American police force is not equipped enough to handle these situations because, you know, they're natives. We need it ourselves. We need our own white police force to be doing the shooting ourselves. Take matters in our own goddamn hands. I need a fucking MRAP. I need them drones. There is no circumstance in which, like, you have someone fuck up this royally and your response is to immediately shift the fucking blame. To the victim and then turn around and say, oh, my bad for shifting the blame to the victim. Didn't see the footage. Also, can you give me more money so we can do this ourselves? It's insane. Sorry, we murdered somebody. Can you give us more money, please? Is wild, okay? So, now we are going to talk about Georgia's cop city, okay?